I'm using warm neutrals and rosier tones on Jessie's eyes. I'm avoiding cooler tones like silvery charcoals, grays, greens, because those tones are just not naturally found in the skin unless you aren't feeling well. I want to use shades that give life to the face and don't add dullness. So think rosy browns, warm tans, rose gold. I'm going to line Jessie's eyes to prepare for the false lashes. This is going to help them blend in better at the lash line. And I am smudging the eyeliner out with a dark shadow. This is going to help with longevity, but it also just gives a softer overall appearance. To create a healthier looking complexion when you aren't feeling so great, you want to always start with well moisturized skin. Everything is going to sit better on skin that is well hydrated. A liquid or cream foundation applied with a damp sponge can give your skin extra hydration and glow. Cream blush like Thrive Cosmetics Triple Threat Color Sick can give skin a more natural blush and a subtle glow. I also love cream highlighters for the same reason and their color stick in Joy would be really pretty for this. Since contouring powders are typically ashier, almost gray tones to create realistic shadows, I chose not to use one of these for Jessie. Your skin might already be looking a little more dull, so I opted instead for a warmer bronzer with some subtle shimmer to add that healthy glow back in. And you'll want to make sure that you blend your bronzer all the way up the forehead into the hairline. Jessie's lashes had started to grow back in a little bit, so I'm putting mascara on the lashes that are there, but if you don't have any lashes, don't worry, and you can totally just move right on to the false lashes. If you have a little bit of hair starting to return in your brows like Jessie, just follow the natural shape that's already there, working in short, hair-like strokes. I like to start in the center and kind of work out to the tail and then move back in. I love a pencil product for this like the Thrive Cosmetics Eyebrow Liner because it adheres best to skin when there's little to no hair. Powder needs something to stick to so that's going to be a little harder to create realistic brows with if you don't have any hair. Using your brow pencil, angle out from the edge of your nose to see how far the brows should extend and then by aligning it with the nostril you can see how far they should come in. The Universal Light Shade, or Christina, seems to work really well for Jessie, and other blondes to light brown hair tones will likely find it a really good match too. We chose the Jackie lashes as they are the most natural for everyday wear. The band of the Thrive Cosmetics lashes is flexible but holds a nice curved shape to fit the eyelid. I turned to the outside corner after measuring it to Jessie's eye shape, which you'll definitely want to do for the most customized fit. I found these very easy to apply with their adhesive, and Jessie commented on how comfortable they were. She said she wasn't nearly as aware of them as she has been with traditional false lashes, and she was really impressed with the fit. Thrive Lashes are made with proprietary vegan silk and they can be worn up to 30 times when they're cleaned off properly. A trick to make the false lashes look as natural as possible is to use an eyeliner to connect the gap from the inner corner to the lash band. This way the lash band won't have an abrupt start or stop. I chose a mauve tone for Jessie's lip color to contrast with her green eyes. The subtle hint of purple in this will really offset that eye color and just make them look that much brighter. I'm also applying a sheer pink gloss on top to add extra shine. 